We started working in, especially in child protection and rights of children uh, back in 2012. Uh, uh, this was a very uh, different kind of project that we launched back in 2012. Uh, we, then we had a Nepal Rescue Agency project that was primarily focused on rescuing children uh, from exploitative and abusive uh, conditions. Uh, it took us like almost two to three years to do a lot of rescues. We have rescued over uh, 200 children in this sector, uh, especially children sold to circuses in India uh, or, uh, you know, uh, trafficked into orphanages of Nepal or in India. So uh, one of our core philosophy of child welfare sector is that we just don't uh, rescue children, but we also bring them back, give them transit uh, and primary care and then start uh, identifying their families because we as an organization, as a team, we believe that uh, children are well grown uh, mentally and physically when they live with their parents. One of our uh, very uh, successful strategy uh, with most of our projects and especially to the project that we are working with uh, BTOF is that uh, we try to collaborate with the local government, with the local authorities, uh, giving them the sense of uh, responsibility and the liability that they have uh, towards these children uh, who are always vulnerable in the community. So one of the very beautiful aspects of the project has been uh, to collaborate with them and then actually strengthen them and then in the future like you know hand over those responsibilities to the government because at the end of the day it's the government and the community that has to take these issues, embrace these issues uh, and then look for a long-term solution. So it has been very successful that we have been uh, sensitizing the government officials, collaborating with them and even uh, inspiring them to take actions against uh, the social evils that exist in the society.